Hey guys, I wanted to go over a mod that I'm doing to the uh, oil pan of my 318. Uh, is you've got a dipstick port on one side um, that comes out just like regular dipstick. It gives you a reading. And then up front, you've got the drain plug. So there is no other drain plug back here. It looks like Chrysler may have thought about it, putting a boss back here, but they never, they never did. You can see there's extra thick steel on either side. But as far as I've seen, there is never a, a drain there, unless I guess you could add it yourself. You could drill that and tap it and put it. And even there. if you try to snake a tube down here, you're gonna have to come in, get around this baffle, and then make it all the way to the back side of the pan here. And there's another baffle you can hit. The oil pickup is in this area. So you got some maneuvering to do, but I, I, I think just off the bat, it's gonna be hard to the get. The first thing you do, you drill a hole through the baffle here that's lined up with your drain port. Then you grab a shark bite fitting. This is a one half by one half male NPT thread. And on this, on this pan, I had to shave off a little aluminum just to get this thing to spin the, in there tight. The other pan, I did not have to. So it's, it's, it's a gamble whether you're going to have to or not. But screwed that in, put a little RTV on the threads there, screwed it in. So now you've got a solid, solid point for your tube As to go H04002. Um, that is about, I'm going to say... 16 and a half maybe a little under that is what what I cut it down to here's my scrap pieces and the reason why you have to cut it is because once you go to install it you have to get past this guy so you have to get through the baffle and clear the back <coughs> so that's why you have to cut it down now I've already cut it put a slight bend in it just past the baffle Put a bend in it and these dotted lines here is where i marked the top side top side of the of the tube and the reason why i did that is because from here all the way to the end i crimped it in a vise and that's again because the pickup is, is somewhere in this area so you want to make sure that the pickup is on top of this and not interfering with it and holding the pan off the block and I'll give you a side profile. It's crimped down there. And then it gets fat to a normal half inch down here and then it's crimped the rest of the way. So. There it goes, clicked in. Now with that clicked in, it's never coming out unless you put the magnet on it to release the, release the teeth in there. But, it's installed. This thing's solid. That's solid. This is solid. And this is where uh, where you'll where you'll drain from. You got the you stick a suction tube down there, and it comes out to the bottom of the pan. And again, like I'm telling you, on the, the angle of these motors, how they sit in the boat, all your oil is going to be back here. So that is where you want to drain from. Front, uh, you got a couple options. You could use a regular plug, regular plug. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm putting a quarter inch nipple on there. This says one half by 10, but I'll put some RTV on there. Screw that in. And uh, that'll be an airtight fitting. So once I put suction on this, um, It'll take the oil out, so I don't have to fish a tube all the way down the tube to uh, fish a smaller tube all the way down this tube to the back. So to guys, I've done out. this once already, and I've got it in the boat. It's running. This is my second engine, and I'm repeating the process. I just wanted to update you guys on how to make it easier to get all the oil out of your 318 Marine.